Hi everybody, I'm Chef Angie Concilio with ConciliosKitchenware.com. Today I'm doing a demonstration on the Seiko Olika Evo Focus. This machine is made in Italy, has dual boilers for hotter milk and coffees, plus manual and automatic frothing. This machine is ideal for up to 50 cups per day, making it perfect for office spaces, small businesses, or higher volume home environments. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, as always, thank you so much for your support. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the bell at the top, and like this video. In today's demonstration, I'll go over the main features of the machine, an overall tour of the machine, we'll cover the most popular beverage options, and I'll show you the different ways to froth milk. What does this machine come with? In the box, we have coffee oil remover tablets, milk circuit cleaner. We have a few different manuals here. There is a Intenza water filter, a brewing unit lubricant, water test strip. There is a little brush here, and right over here, we have the Cappuccina Torre, which is fantastic on the Olika Evil Focus. This component comes right out. You clip this one here right in place, and there's an extra long silicone milk tube. They have really thought of all of the customization for this machine. This is an extra part. As you can see, the milk tube comes out right now from the left side of the machine. You can easily swap this part in place and then the silicone milk tube would then be able to come from the other side of the machine. So depending where you're putting this in your space, you can customize where you want to access the milk from the left or from the right of the machine. The Evo Focus has dual boilers. That means there's two pumps and two boilers, one designated for the coffee function and the other designated for the water and steam function. This means you're going to be getting high speed, consistent, and hotter results. Let's go ahead and make an espresso. We are using our very popular locally roasted non-oily coffee beans. We are using the Super Crema, delivers a delicious creamy layer on top. There are two different ways to froth your milk. You can use the automatic component or the manual frothing wand, great for latte art. I'm going to show you how to access the steam and ensure that it will remain within the extra beverage option at the bottom. If your machine does not already have steam that shows here under the extra, simply go to the menu, go to technical menu, hit OK, go to settings, then beverage menu. We're going to go down to configure with parameters. You're going to scroll to the very bottom to extra and again down to steam. Here is where you can allow the steam to be on or off and accessible within the extra beverage button on the control panel. Let's go ahead and make a milk based beverage. We're going to make a latte macchiato. We're going to remove this little cap. We're going to insert our cappuccino torre. We are going to use our own vessel to hold our milk. It's just going to be right here in our frothing pitcher. Silicone tube goes right into that. And I'm going to actually show you also, I'm just going to remove that for a second. To accommodate larger cups, you can remove this center spout. You can, of course, control and make your customization and personalization within the menu, configure beverages. You can adjust the volume of coffee as well as the volume of milk. And later on, I'm going to show you how to adjust the overall strength that you would do on just the side of the machine where the brewing unit is. We're going to go ahead and make a latte macchiato. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next on the agenda, let's make a cappuccino. Next, we're going to go into the extra menu and we're going to select an Americano. This is a true Americano. As you could see, it produced a portion of coffee, espresso first, and then added in hot water. You can manually froth milk for hot chocolates, plain steamed milk, practicing latte art. Of course, you can with the OTC One Touch Cappuccinatore. You can achieve automatic milk frothed from the automatic frother. So let's go down and activate our steam. We're gonna hit OK. You can add in your froth steamed milk and you can create whatever beverage you want from this. Most often people use it for tea lattes or kitty hot chocolates. On the front control panel, you have your most popular beverage options. Your espresso, double espresso, hot water, coffee, extra, milk, latte macchiato, and cappuccino. Within the extra menu, you can achieve a large coffee, Americano, cafe latte, and access your Steam functionality. Within the menu, you can gain access to user menu where you can achieve a brew group clean, cappuccino torre clean. If you go down to technical menu, this is where you access the settings. You can go into beverage menu, configure with parameters to set your personalization and customization. For example, an espresso, you can access pre-brewing to be off, low, or high. You can adjust the coffee temperature, low, normal, or high, as well as the coffee length. And of course, within your milk-based beverages, you would have an opportunity to adjust the volume of your milk. The Olika Evo Focus is redesigned. It is elegant and sophisticated with user-friendly display, modern accents, and innovation. Succeeding to the legendary Seiko Royal, the Olika Evo Focus offers the same incredible value. With user-friendly display, backlit white and blue LED that turn off and on following beverage preparation phases, chrome accents, make for a stunning display and overall functionality. There is a 500 gram bean hopper and 2.5 liter capacity water tank. That means for high volume usage, you're not going to be tending to the machine frequently. To adjust the coffee intensity as well as the grinder, you're going to access the side door. Here is your brewing unit. Above the brewing unit is an area where you can adjust the coffee intensity. There are six levels, one being the weakest, six being the strongest. I like to leave mine at six, maximum amount of strength. That means the machine is going to grind more coffee for your beverage. Here is the grinder adjustment, levels one to eight. You wanna be somewhere in the middle. I find level five works the best. Once per week for overall maintenance, you're going to rinse the brewing unit under regular tap water and then shake it off and put it right back into place. It needs to click into place and then you'll put your dredge drawer and drip tray back in the front of the machine and close the door. That will be done once per week. Thanks for joining me on the demo with the Seiko Lego Evo Focus. 
This is a workhorse of a machine and great for higher volume usage up to 50 cups per day. This machine has dual boiler, dual milk froth functionality, updated redesign, innovative and user friendly display with updated beverage options. This makes the machine an excellent choice with great value for business or home use. I'm Chef Angie Concilio and I have had a blast demoing this machine for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We are always here to help you make the most informed decision on your next purchase.